Oh, yeah, so I'm looking at some of this stuff. Oh. Turning customers, you know. Can't you throw a little discount our way? Why don't we just pay the fee, Fane? It is most immature for an adult to haggle with a child. Wait, what? I figured you'd complain about the price louder than any of us. Huh. You can be surprisingly nice sometimes. Please, do not tease me. I am only stating the most reasonable course of action. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Now then. I've heard that there's a fury somewhere within Previse Cave. Oh, great. Sounds like another pain in the ass. Okay, Miss Hypocrite. Guess we better get going, huh? I told you to stop teasing me. Oh, before we go to the cave, we gotta explore again to find our destination. How annoying. Pretty well solve anything. Come on, let's go. His way, randomly searching for a vague destination on that old exhausting Well, let us borrow a I'm a child who pulls up a car and measures it. This doesn't worry about the pulsing light. It falls unexpected. No one is. That is just. You have your car, you just have to go. No, you can't get the car on it with it either, so I must be. I wish this stuff would stop. That was so into the ground, I still ain't gonna get that thing where I want to. Well, she did. That thing's got him. Appear as questionable. Put him in the open. Him with a little sheet. A square to do. Every theory you obtain, his utilities are still as.
weird. I will now observe how skilled you two really are. You're so arrogant. Why are you always looking down on us? Oh, I do apologize. But you are so tiny, Aaron, and I am so much taller. I'm not talking about height. I'm talking about your attitude. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? All right, all right. It's not important. Let's just get going. What the? Are you on her side now? Of course he is. He did fall in love with me after all. Whoa, hey, you two can catfight all you want, but don't drag me into it. No, no. There is no need to hide your feelings. This place looks like it's overflowing with creepy crawlies. Then, you will go first and protect me, won't you? Hey, don't get carried away, you big stupid dumb idiot! <gasps> You're so cruel, but it feels so good! This girl likes abuse. Hey, seriously, what's with that reaction? It's super creepy, right, Fang? You talk too much. What? I do not talk too much. When have I ever talked too much, huh? Tell me! Boy, I wonder. I'm exhausted all of a sudden. Stronger now. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do this. Executing shooting slash. <laughs> I'm still gonna 
Pérez. They're finished. Yeah. Stay down. 
possible. My turn. Yeah. Let's do this. Huh. Next. Get out of here. something strange for a while now like we're being watched who could be watching us i got a feeling somebody's watching you kill 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 huh who are you hello this is ethel and i'm her fairy partner karin kill 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 all right kill. so you're fencers acting all lovey-dovey makes me sick I hate jackasses with nothing but love on the brain. Just die already. It's what Ethel just said. Huh? I can point out all kinds of problems with this situation, but can just saying kill over and over really mean all that? That's honestly the most shocking part of all this. Besides, I don't need some weird girl telling me to kill. I think I can handle that on my own. Thank you very much. Kill, kill, kill. Ethel says... No, I'm not telling you to kill. I'm telling you I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. But why does she just keep saying it over and over? You mustn't ask such rude questions, Faye. I'm sure she has a very deep and meaningful reason for it. Yeah, well, she wants to kill us. She would never speak in such a way. Please, leave her be. Point out the obvious here. It is pretty embarrassing for sure. I have no idea what her reasons might be, but I feel bad for her. Oh, well, the reason Ethel speaks like this is because she's too shy to speak normally. Huh? How does that work? The way she talks now is way more embarrassing than if she just talked like a normal person. Can you try explaining it again and help us understand? Right. Kill! Uh, Ethel, please wait! She's embarrassed. No idea. Well, the bit anything is gonna be some bullshit. Where it's gonna be like, you got some fences that fight for the vile god, and some people that fight for the goddess. You know, that's, that's where I'm seeing it's headed. That's where it seems like it's headed. Bet you I'm gonna be right. That's just all I want to do. This is a bunch of. Shooting slash. Yeah. 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 
for the win. I did not. I might as well just kill this one right here. For health. Poison is a status effect. When you're poisoning, you lose HP at the start of your turn. A poison and a status icon appears above the afflicted character's head near their character. If you're poisoning, you can end up or heal. Oh, almost a god character. Poison after battles. So kill them. I'm not going backwards. I had enough to get lost. Awesome. 
Cool. Okay, fine. Yes. to show your weirdo face again what exactly do you want from us kill she says didn't i just tell you i want you to die you know ethel you should try speaking more like a proper lady you have such an adorable face it's a real shame <laughs> the way she talks is the least of her problems i mean threatening to kill us you shouldn't say stuff like that even as a joke I think you need to go back to school. Communication 101. Well, you know? What the hell that was? Yeah. Uh, bang! Let's go, Kiwi! Let's do this! Stop it. Crazy. Executing shooting slash. Come, let's go, Aaron! Yeah. I'm ready! I feel like getting bunched up like this is not a good thing. Better, I guess, is big. I would probably kill it now. Executing shooting slash. Yep. Stay down. <sighs> hey, what gives? Attacking us out of nowhere like that. It's your own fault, really. You were poking at Ethel's most sensitive emotional weakness. That's no excuse! She's a fencer as well. She must be after this fury. It's completely common for fencers to battle it out for furies. Kill. Kill, kill, He was only kill. attacking her. Kill. I don't give a crap about furies. All I want to do is destroy. That is what Ethel just said. Destroy? But why would you want to do that? Because that's how she was raised. Kill, kill. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, let's retreat for now, Ethel. I'm afraid they have us at a disadvantage. Kill. Farewell, everyone. Until we meet again. Those two started off weird and just went nuts from there. Any new fury containing the fairy's sail. Failure. 